Stephen, first of all, uh, many congratulations. It, it must be good to, to be on the winning side. It's been a difficult start for Sussex. Yeah, it's been a difficult start since I joined the club. Um, I think this win is great for, for, for us, uh, for me as well, and to get to get a get some runs under under the belt is always, always nice. And hopefully, we can we can carry on with this momentum into the next game and get some get some nice wins again. Let's talk about the innings because you know, it's important that someone got, was in today and uh, made a decent score. Yeah, yeah that's our, um, our, actually our game plan is 102 to bat through. We know we got power at the end. Um, so that, that's actually my role in the team is just to go bat through to like the 40th, 45th over or take it through. But um, And then other guys can smack it around. So that's um, it's crucial for us to have a set at the back. And then, like I said, we got more than enough power just to hit that last 10 overs. And a really important partnership yourself with Ben Brown. That was almost a, a match-defining partnership between the pair of you. Yeah, uh, Ben is a fantastic player. Um, it's, it, it eases my my my, my game because he's a natural free free scoring and easy scoring um, guy. Um, so I can just play, knock it around, still, and he'll, he's a guy that comes in and he, he will take a few balls and then he can he can he can score boundaries. So it helped me in my sense to to, to take my time even a bit more. Um, but well played him as well. And he's a busy batsman as well. He just, yeah. The scoreboard was moving very quickly then. Yeah, like I said, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's like a natural gift for him. Um, you know, like the, the keepers are all, they're all um, nice and, and, um, and like, I said, the, the, like fighters. Um, like, like it's a natural game for him just to, um, just to keep the ball ticking and get the ball down. So it takes the pressure off the other, on the other side. When you were batting, did you have a, a target in your mind that had, there was a game here on Sunday on the same track? Did you have in your mind a target that Sussex wanted to get to? Yeah, we wanted um, 180 after 40 overs um, with um, minimal damage as possible. Um, and I think we ended on 192 after 40. Um, so we got a 12 extra run that we, we wanted. Um, so we, yeah, we were in a great position going into the last 10. And like I said, to, with our batters at the end, um, great, great platform to launch at the end. Is that something that happens throughout the innings? Have you got targets that you're looking to reach all the way through the innings, Ben? Yeah, we'll, we'll start off on, on, a, on a wicket and then um, um, first in overs we'll access um, what's, what's a decent score on, on the wicket and then we'll set, our, set ourselves with like small goals um, through the innings like at 30 overs, at 40 and etc. So um, we try to, um, to, see, um, to see what the wicket um, what gives, us, gives us and then uh, go, go from there. Sussex always seemed pretty much in control, apart from just after the, the rain break when suddenly Chris Cook got in and, and walloped a few. <laughs> yeah, this, this is one thing about all those rain breaks is if you, if you can get good momentum and um, come off for like 30 minutes and stuff, it can, it can let the other team in. Um, like, it's, like, like you said, yeah, the bowlers can get a bit, bit, um, bit tight and stuff and then they won't hit the areas as, as they should have or as they, as they, as they would have. Um, so yeah, so it opens a, a little bit, but it can, al- it can also swing in your, in your favour. It's been a difficult start for Sussex. How difficult has it been for you settling into the side? Yeah, the, the, guys, are, the guys are great. The club is great. Um, the place that I stay is great, so I can't fault that. It's just like like you said, it's a difficult start on the pitch. Um, I still think, or the guys, I think they're, they're fine on their feet as well. Um, obviously, they want to do well, so maybe there's an extra bit of pressure that they put on themselves. But at the end of the day, this win is um, great for us and came at the right time. Um, and hopefully we can take this momentum into the next one. Yeah, and Kent coming up now on, on Friday. How important is momentum in a competition like this, Ian? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's major, I think. Uh, if, you, if you're on a, on a winning streak, it's, 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 it's momentum and it's good habits at the end of the day. And um, if you go into the park again on Friday, you come off a good win. So it's, it's automatically you, you go into your gears. And other times when, you, when you're losing and stuff, you, you obviously address that after the loss. So then you like... 50-50, must I do this, must I do that, but now if it starts clicking, it starts clicking, so, um, so hopefully on Friday we can, we can, we can go, go off again and just, just know the basics and hopefully come, up, come, come out on top. How you find the conditions over here? We're standing here pouring with rain <laughs> and pretty cold. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, been here, I've been here a month, but I'm actually surprised because um, I think it's like the fourth day um, on the top I say that it's raining, so um, it's, been, it's been lovely actually. If, if the sun's out and the, and the, the wind is not blowing, then it's, then it's fine. But if the sea breeze comes, it can be, it can be chilly. Um, but other than that, I think it's still early doors in your, in your summer, so um, hopefully we'll get some, some nice sunshine and some good cricket for the rest of the season.